It has been 17 long years since the Flood made an appearance in an FPS Halo game, and it's been 7 long, long years since they made any kind of major narrative appearance at all. And yet, despite that, I feel like out of all the factions in Halo, the Flood have not only the biggest, but absolutely the most fervent fanbase out there. Despite how neglected they've been, and despite how long it's been since the Parasite played any relevant role in a story, it seems like more people than ever want to see them come back. Now, Halo to me was always comprised of three major genres. There was mystery, adventure, and horror. But with the Flood's absence, Halo is missing one of the three major building blocks that make up its identity and its soul. Horror just isn't really present in Halo's main narrative anymore. Yeah, there are little bits of it here and there, but at no point is it a major undertone of a narrative. This is one of the main reasons why I personally really want the Flood to come back, because I think that Halo's main narrative should always have an undertone of horror to it. There should always be that possibility of a space zombie apocalypse looming over us. Now, whenever I make the case for the Flood to return, which you guys know is uh, pretty frequently nowadays, or I say nowadays, it's been pretty frequent now for a long, long time, 99% of the responses that I get are always people going like, but you know, without fail, whenever I talk about the Flood, there's always the odd person here and there saying that they shouldn't return because them doing so would invalidate the ending of the original Halo trilogy. And frankly, seeing this drives me absolutely insane, right? Because not only is it completely incorrect, it's also extremely reductive of the Flood and the lore as well. And so I want to make this video today to completely and utterly dispel the notion that the Flood returning would invalidate the original Halo trilogy purely so I don't have to see people saying this anymore because it's just not correct. So today we are answering the biggest question about the Flood, how to bring them back without invalidating the original Halo trilogy. And spoilers here, shock horror, there are billions of ways of doing so that don't inflict a single point of damage to the original Halo trilogy story. But to answer the question, we have to first understand why people are even asking it in the first place. Why do people think that the Flood returning would invalidate Halo 3's ending? Well, my interpretation of it is that it seems like people seem to think that the Flood's defeat at the end of Halo 3 marked their complete and utter end as a species. That us defeating the Gravemind and the Flood outbreak essentially eradicated the Flood from existence and that bringing the Flood back would wreck on that and, in turn, nullify the final crescendo of the original trilogy. But that's just like not the case at all, and that's not 343's kind of retroactive additions to the lore that say that. That's the final words of the Gravemind in Halo 3 written by Bungie that's saying that. <laughs> Like water I ebb and flow. Defeat is simply the addition of time to a sentence I never deserved, but you imposed. You don't even need to read between the lines of that dialogue to understand what the group mind is saying, but it's literally saying that a defeat like this, like the one happening at the end of Halo 3, has happened before, and that all it does is delay the Flood's inevitable return. Resignation is the Flood's virtue. It's something it's done before, and something that it will do again. Okay, I'm gonna be real corny here for a second. If you want the Flood to come back, hit that subscribe button. Appreciate that, thank you very much, carry on. However, I am gonna give a little bit of credence to the people that think this, because to be quite honest with you, the Flood's only major appearance since Halo 3 kinda did invalidate Halo 3's ending. Don't get me wrong, I really like Awaken the Nightmare, but the way that it brought the Flood back was probably the worst narrative method of doing so, to be quite honest. Having the Flood within High Charity's wreckage not only survive the destruction of High Charity, but also survive the firing of the Halo that it was right beneath 
definitely does, partially at least, invalidate Halo 3's ending because it means that the trilogy's outbreak wasn't fully destroyed by our actions at the end of the game. Yes, it technically does make canonical sense because Installation 08 was quite literally tearing itself apart when firing above the arc, so of course there's going to be a much bigger margin for error than usual there. But just because something makes canonical sense doesn't mean that it's healthy for a story. I mean, it makes perfect canonical sense for Chief to strip butt ass naked and do weird things with a Covenant POW, but... Uh, okay, you know what, let's... Oh Christ, let's leave that one there. Let's let's move on. <laughs> Another issue that I see is that people seem to think that if the Flood were to come back, their story arc, their new story arc, would kind of just end up being a retelling of their story arc in Halo 2 and Halo 3. I think people have the idea that we just end up retreading the steps that we've already taken in the original trilogy, which would just make a really repetitive story that we've already basically experienced in full. But again, I couldn't disagree anymore. So, how do we bring the Flood back without invalidating or repeating any element of the original story? Well, it's not so much about the fact that they do come back, but rather how they come back. And trust me when I say, there are a billion and one ways for the Flood to return without inflicting a single point of damage to the original story. It's all about having the Flood return in a fresh manner. And you know, one of the things that I've wanted to see expanded on in Halo's lore now for, God, a decade at this point, honestly, is Oni's experimentations with the Flood and their intent to turn the Flood into a bioweapon. Oni are literally Halo's version of the CIA or the KGB or anything like that, right? I mean, their list of war crimes, crimes against humanity, crimes against nature, crimes against anything you can think of, basically exceed the word count of war and peace, right? And so experimenting on the flood with humans or other POWs is well, well within their purview. I mean, hell, they've literally already done it. The entire story of the Mona Lisa is them seizing control of a prison ship and converting it into a lab to investigate their ability to control and ultimately weaponize the Flood on human and also elite prisoners. And I think an outbreak like that that starts in an only human controlled lab would be such a cool way to bring them back. Ever since Hunt the Truth, and even further back from that, Kilo 5, people have been obsessed, fascinated with all of the shady and clandestine operations of the various divisions of Oni, and you know, it's an element of Halo's narrative that I think at least feels oddly grounded. It's quite reminiscent of uh, loads of like conspiracy theory rabbit holes that you can go down in our real world. And I think tying that grounded element in with a flood outbreak and their eventual return would be such a good way to do it. Way back when, when I first played Halo 5's campaign, nine years ago, whoo, maybe we don't think about that number for a while, that's a big number for that. I, when I got to Argent Moon, I was convinced that that level was going to lead to the return of the Flood. I was convinced that it was tied in with the Flood somehow. Ultimately, of course, it had no ties to the Flood though. <laughs> Argent Moon was just only experimenting with some disease that they found on Jackal POWs with the intent to ultimately manufacture a bioweapon with that disease. But you know, for all the stick that I'll give Halo 5's campaign, the vibes of the level Argent Moon were immaculate. And I think a level like that again, that reveals Oni's further experiments with the Flood, would be such an interesting way of reintroducing them. And of course, the irony with that kind of outbreak would that it would be yet another example of humans trying and catastrophically failing to play God. Now, conversely, a much more straightforward, albeit slightly repetitive way of bringing the Flood back would be to just have another outbreak in a Flood research or containment facility, like the outbreaks that we had on Alpha Halo in Halo 1 and Delta Halo in, or rather the gas mine in Halo 2. I really feel like this is the tried and true method of causing a Flood outbreak. Humans, or even aliens, meddling with something they don't understand for either greed or out of ignorance, only to release horrors only just within our comprehension. But like I said, people could look at this and say it was too repetitive considering it has already happened in two separate Halo games. So with that in mind, you could put a kind of twist on that style of outbreak in a similar vein to Halo Wars 1's Flood Outbreak, where the Flood were trapped inside the core of a planet in its secret conservation sphere. And you know, in hindsight, that was a really cool way to do an outbreak. 
The whole point of this conservation sphere was to shelter surviving foreigners from the effects of the halos, so they could survive the firing of the rings and continue to exist beyond. But the Flood managed to get in and use it to shelter from the very weapons that were designed to destroy them. There are so many ways that you could spin this kind of outbreak as well. Maybe a conservation sphere is discovered on a relatively popular human colony, but thanks to hundreds of millennia of neglect, its containment facilities have fallen into disrepair and outbreaks have begun. However, those outbreaks are trapped within the colony's core, and the Flood's expansion and evolution is bottlenecked by the amount of biomass in said core, so they can't physically evolve enough to gain the intelligence to escape it. They're just waiting, dormant right beneath the feet of billions of people. Innocent, ignorant humans going about their daily lives without any idea there's an entire outbreak festering beneath their feet. I really like this idea of a trapped outbreak, one that can't physically escape its cage because it can't evolve enough, but that we inadvertently end up freeing. And I think that recent story on Waypoint, Saturn devouring his son about the outbreak at Site-22 was a really good example of this. A flood-infected foreigner ship that got stuck inside a meteorite, unable to escape, until corporations started harvesting said meteorite for profit, unearthing the parasite and causing a rampant outbreak. I love this style of outbreak, the kind of outbreak that we saw in, for example, Origins in Black Ops 2 Zombies, where the infected lay dormant somewhere that nobody would have expected until our human meddling awakes them and in turn causes an outbreak that we're unable to control. In the original trilogy, none of the outbreaks were our fault, and you know, I think it would be a really cool and very fresh way of doing a flood outbreak if the next one was our fault. Whether that's down to our meddling, unearthing a dormant horde, or Oni's attempts at experimenting with the Flood and turning them into a bioweapon going wrong and causing an outbreak, or something else entirely. Truth be told, I could sit, or well, actually stand here for hours on end, listing off different kinds of outbreak that Halo has either sparingly done in the past or has never even attempted. But the bottom line of the point that I'm trying to make in this video and the question that I'm trying to answer is that no, the Flood were not entirely eradicated at the end of Halo 3, Bungie themselves confirmed that as much, and no, the Flood coming back would not mean retracing the same narrative steps that we took in the original trilogy. I've said this a billion times before, but <sighs> the Flood are Halo's deepest and yet still most untapped narrative well. I just sincerely hope that in the coming years, 343 finally decide to tap into that well in the games. Emphasis on in the games. Just please don't make the flood look like orange, generic, glowing monsters. Please, no more of those orange, glowing blisters, please. So, if you were in charge, how would you bring the flood back? Let me hear it down below in the comments. I'd love to hear your ideas. And so, with that said, I have nothing else to really say in this video because I've answered the question, I've dispelled the myth, and I think it's time to round it out there. I want to give a massive thank you to all of my amazing patrons for the continued support over there, as per usual. Thank you all so much, and thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you all in the next one.